ask you to discover the Jewish roots of your Christian faith, Bible prophecy, and world events surrounding Israel. I'm Jonathan Burnus. Thanks for joining us today. You are going to be so fascinated today by what our guest is going to share. He's a New York Times best-selling author. He's a prophetic voice, and he's spoken in front of the Congress before the UN, and he has the word of the Lord for you today. He's going to talk about an explosive new book that just came out, The Paradigm, and here's more background on our guest, Rabbi Jonathan Kahn. Rabbi Jonathan Kahn is a New York Times best-selling author, anointed by God to reveal prophetic mysteries for this day and age. Raised in a Reformed Jewish home, Jonathan became a follower of Yeshua after an oncoming train crushed the car he was driving. He heads the Jerusalem Center Beth Israel, a worship center made up of Jews and Gentiles just outside New York City. He and his wife, Renata, have two children and make their home in Wayne, New Jersey. Welcome back, my friend. Great to see you. Always. And, and, and thank you for coming. I know what your schedule is like, and I know that you were on a plane. You were out at 3 in the morning to be here, and it's great to see well, you. It's a blessing to be here, Jonathan. You the know, two we, Jonathans we, are yeah, back together. We go back like 30 years or something. I was saying know. to the yeah, audience, at least 30 years. So I've been watching the mm-hmm. way the Lord has used you so powerfully mm-hmm. over the years, and I, I have to be honest, I'm not surprised. Do you just have this revelation? Do you pray and then the Lord speaks to you? How do you get this insight? Yeah, all of that, all of the above. <laughs> uh, the, uh, like for the Harbinger, I was standing at ground zero and I saw this object and something, you know, the voice said, there's something there, you have to seek this. And when I did, it, it was the first puzzle piece to the next thing, next thing. And every time I needed the next thing, something would happen or someone would say a word or something would come on my computer screen that I didn't put in, that I didn't go for continuously with with the paradigm things just also would come into my head and I didn't know and then I'd find out it's true I check it out and it's true but I don't know how I knew that except the Lord just the Lord just does that he just and it's it's absolutely amazing we 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 were all blown away and I say we every leader that Mm. I've that I've talked to about the harbinger over the last couple of years was was just jarred by it because the connections mm. are so profound. Yes. Uh, now these things are being fulfilled yes. now, and I, I yeah. want to be clear: you, yeah. this is not a, a prophecy. This this was not a declaration. Yes. These things will come to pass in this time. At this right? time, yeah. This is a warning. You know, God gives warnings, and God gave warning a warning to Israel. This is the this is now the manifestation of that. And as far as when judgment comes, the point is we are heading there. We ha- it hasn't stopped. You know, the harbingers haven't stopped. You know, ma- the things have manifested since. America has not stopped moving away from God. I mean, since we, since we first talked about the harbinger, we've crossed major thresholds as a nation. So the warning is still there, and, and, and we are heading that way. It's kind of like in the days of when we read the Bible, that when God gave warnings to Israel... You know, it said it's coming. As far as does God give the exact time when it's going to come? No. Most of the time, no. It's a call for repentance. Okay, so uh, I just, those that would say you made these predictive never. prophecies and they yeah. didn't come to pass. Never, never, never did. Never said that. I'm always careful not to. But the warnings are there and, the, and we, are, we are progressing, unfortunately. I mean, I mean I'm pray, we're praying for revival, but until then, we are progressing the way, the way Israel did in, in the last days. Jonathan, the thing about the harbinger, it's not just a warning. It's specific warnings that yes. parallel, yes. that repeat yes. in detail. yes. God's warning to Israel before they were taken into yes, captivity. Yes, it's manifestations of signs. These are harbingers. It's prophetic signs that have appeared, and that's and that has continued, and that is that is absolutely specific. It's very, I mean, specific objects, specific words, repeating what happened in, in the last days of Israel, involving the the highest leaders of the land. Yeah, the word fulfill, mm-hmm. I think, really illustrates this. It yeah. doesn't mean to 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 have a definitive end. It means to keep filling to fullness. Yes, yeah. Full fill is yes. still full, 
and that's what we're experiencing with the harbinger, yeah, right? Yeah, and with God, these warnings. God uses signs. You know, these are signs. You look throughout the Bible, He gives prophetic signs, the smashing of a clay jar. You know, these are, well, that's what's appearing in America. These are signs warning us uh, that we are in a, a real danger and we are have, we are absolutely been heading away from God rapidly and it's been more since we've been together yeah and many are heeding yes. the warning how many how many have read the harbinger so far millions Mill- it's been millions yeah. and 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 it's been uh, I'm amazed because I mean we again we've known each other and this is all kind of crazy I'm st- still like kind of <laughs> surfing the the, the wave but, you're always, you'll but, always be catching up now yeah and, yeah and it's and there are presidential candidates who who read it who have read it presidential candidates who have given it out to other people um, it's kind of crazy but that's what God's done now the Lord's also opened up some incredible doors for you to to warn yeah. leaders, not just yeah. through the book, yeah. but talk about those. You've spoken in front of Congress, the UN. Yeah, Tell yeah, cra- about that. crazy. Um, yeah, the Lord opened the door to speak in, on, on Capitol Hill, members of Congress. And even the day that the Supreme Court heard the case deciding marriage, it was like a prophetic day, the next day I was able to speak that way too. Um, I spoke in the United Nations, uh, spoke about Israel, and, all, and then I quickly got out of there, you know, after that. <laughs> um, but but, um, but it's, I believe he has called us to speak to powers, you know, and he's to speak to thrones. We are not to be timid now. We have to be bolder, you know, and the Lord will open the doors. You know, we just have to be faithful. And people say, well, that, that was courageous to say that. I said, it's not courageous. I, I'm just more, I'm more scared of him than I am of them. <laughs> you know, you know. Yeah. That's the story of the prophets of old. Oh, Do you ever think that you'd be standing in front of Congress or the United Nations? Did, it, did you ever have this revelation from the Lord or sense, I'm going to bring you before kings and presidents? And There are people, I know I didn't, but there are people who came up to me, even like Messiah comes, come to me and say, the Lord, here's the word, the word, the Lord is saying, I'm going to bring you before kings. And all of a sudden, okay, you know, that, that's great, you know, maybe, but I didn't think so. And then years later, it happened. Yeah, it's amazing. It's crazy. It's yeah. amazing. I get those two, and it's yeah, 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 yeah. But <laughs> when it happens, it's startling. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Yeah. And I agree. Uh, I had an opportunity years ago to speak to the to the person that became the president of Moldova before yeah. he became the yeah. president. And the Lord gave me a warning: if you don't deliver the message, because He gave me a message mm, for mm, this. For mm. this, uh, yeah. He was at that time the head of the of the parliament. If you don't warn him, uh, then you're not fulfilling what I'm. Yes. what I've called you to yes. do. Yes. And it was it was hard to do because yeah. the warning was if you turn from God, he will bring you down. He will yes. bring you out of power. Yeah. He will bring you into power, but he'll bring you out. And he didn't heed the warning and he was out wow. in two years. But it, it you know, it's yeah. intimidating. But yeah. as you said, I, we fear God more yeah. than man. Yeah, I was at sometimes I say, Lord, you know, and you know me, you know, I, I have messages in all different kinds, encouraging things and all that, but the harbinger and all these others are, are warnings. And so I said, Lord, you know, this is heavy. I'm, and then, and I'm saying, and I, and I just opened the Bible and it's like, son of man, if I call a watchman, if you do not sound the trumpet, the blood will be on your head. I said, okay, wow. Lord, I got it. I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You've written two bestsellers already, The Harbinger, The Book of Mysteries. This one is so hot off the press, I can barely <laughs> hold on to it. That's right. Uh, and I, again, right. the name's amazing. The Paradigm, the Ancient Blueprint that Holds the Mysteries of Our Time. What mysteries is the Lord opened up to you this time? This is, this is an ancient blueprint. It's linked to the same time as The Harbinger, but it, and from the same context, but it involves not just signs, but everything that's happening from the, the the specific leaders of America, it actually the the uh, specific events. It's almost like every, it's like the major things that we've gone through are all there. We're replaying something with modern leaders. There's a prototype leader in this template that stands for that leader. It even gives the times how much how many years they will have on the world stage. Each of them. Now we're going to get into spe- yeah. we're going to get into specifics today, yes. right? Yep. Buckle your seatbelts. <laughs> we are going where no one has yet gone before. It's more than Star Trek. You'll be amazed <laughs> yes. at what Jonathan Kahn has to share. But first, a message about how you can bless the Jewish people that are so precious to yes. God. Stay tuned. Here at Jewish Voice, we are dedicated to proclaiming the good news that Jesus, Yeshua, is the Messiah to the Jew first and also to the nations. We share the gospel at festivals around the world, and we also provide life-saving medical help to Jewish people living in dire poverty. 
Modern DNA testing has confirmed that these people are descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. Many of these Jewish people we reach have maintained their Old Testament traditions and rituals for thousands of years. They need to hear the gospel and receive medical care. Time is literally running out for these sons and daughters of Abraham. Infants, toddlers, and the elderly are the most likely to die needlessly for lack of basic medical care. Medical care that most of us take for granted is desperately needed now. And the need is enormous. But our medical teams provide more than just physical care and comfort. They open the door for us to share God's love and the good news that Jesus is the Messiah. That's why your financial support is crucial. For your donation of $30, we'll sow The Paradigm by Jonathan Kahn into your life. The Paradigm contains Jonathan Kahn's most explosive prophecies yet. Learn what startling biblical mysteries are about to come true in your lifetime. Order The Paradigm now. And if you really want to bless Jewish tribes like these, please consider becoming a new monthly partner. With your new monthly partnership of $25 or more, we'll send you The Paradigm and we'll add a Jewish Voice exclusive two anointed Jonathan Kahn DVD sets with four discs each. That's a total of eight DVDs by Jonathan Kahn exclusively for you, our Jewish Voice supporters. Each four DVD set contains unique prophecies relevant to your life. Don't wait. Call the number on your screen now. Receive all of these thank you gifts with your new monthly partnership of $25 or more. You can also donate $100 to receive all these gifts. Specify offer 1923 or please specify offer 9241 when giving a one-time gift of $30 to receive the paradigm or click with your gift of support by going to our website jvmi.tv or write to us at Jewish Voice Post Office Box 6, Phoenix, Arizona, 85001. If you just tuned in, I'm talking with Rabbi Jonathan Kahn about his explosive new book. It's called The Paradigm, The Ancient Blueprint That Holds the Mystery of Our Times. Ooh, this is exciting. <laughs> and we are about to possibly get as politically incorrect. Yes as we've ever been on this program because we are about to name mm -hmm. names. Mm -hmm. Wow, I feel this. I, I'm sweaty. This is, <laughs> Even I'm, with and, this. and I'm excited. So we're going to dig into yes. the paradigm now. Yes. And you talk about the king. Yes. Who's the king? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> the, the context is this is the, this is the apostasy of ancient Israel. This is the template, the blueprint. And there comes a time when it accelerates. And if you look at American history, in the last like 25 years, after the Reagan years, things acceler have accelerated where, where anti-biblical values became almost are prevailing. And, and it, but it, in the ancient template, there were, at that time in Israel's history, they also had an accelerated period when that happened. And there was a particular king and queen that came to power at one point. And we will name the names. Let me just say something because it's not about the people, we need to pray for all people, and that's it. But it's about their role in the fall. Now, what happened is a, a man comes to power. His name is Ahav or Ahab, and we, we know him. He was, he was actually, he knew of the Lord, but he was actually compromised. He was apostate. And he, at the same time, he, was, he championed the worship of Baal, which involved the offering of children. I mean, it was a, it was a, a massive culture war that starts at, in his reign. And it, but it wasn't just him. I'll get to that in a second. So at the same time, in about 25, last quarter century, comes a culture war in America. It's called a culture war. And it's an acceleration where you actually have a president for the first time who was actually championing things like abortion, the offering up of children, anti-biblical values. Well, that was Bill Clinton. He rises. He knew of the Lord, but he was, he was a man divided, just like Ahab was. He was a man who was, uh, he was known for, there were personal scandals, Ahab, personal scandals in his reign. Also moral weakness, that was also Ahab in that, championing all these things, and also pioneering certain things that had never been that are still continuing to this day. Well, that's what Ahab did. He was the first king, but it wasn't alone. Ahab had a partner. Yes, he did. <laughs> okay, and pray for me right now. <laughs> um, and, <clears throat> And, and it was the first time that the kings of Israel, the king of Israel, had a queen who was like, who was basically a co-regent. Well, the first time in American history 
we had a president who had a, it was called a co-presidency, and yes. that was another person. The other one was Jezebel. Now, again, this is not about the person, but it's about the role. Jezebel, she was from a cosmopolitan culture, liberal values. She felt the values of, of Israel were, tra their traditional values were a problem. They had to be overcome. Um, she championed, among, among anyone, she championed the offering up of children or abortion in, in, in the modern case here. In this case. Well, we have Bill Clinton and we have a co president, we have Hillary Clinton, the first first lady who was ever in the White House as an office, and they, they basically ruled together. She has very liberal values. She's championing, her main champion cause is, has been abortion. Um, she, she, uh, she actually, here's another thing about Jezebel, and I'm not saying about the, the personality, I'm making that clear, but Jezebel came from, was actually the daughter of a priest of a god of Ashtoreth. So she worshiped female power. This is part of what she did. This is what she was. So to the, the two together, start the, the, it's a cultural war. It starts things moving in this way. I'm absolutely amazed. I'm mesmerized by the parallels. Mm -hmm. And we're not talking about the personalities. No. We're talking no. about, and, and this is the word that comes to me, archetypes. Yeah, exactly. We're talking exactly. about uh, demonic principalities and powers that are manifesting and influencing, and the parallels... People. Are astounding. Yeah, so keep yeah. going. Yeah. Well, uh, here's another thing. There's a, there's a there's a chapter in the paradigm called the Nemesis, and that is in the days of that king, uh, rises an arch enemy of the nation, and he he comes from the east. He makes threats against the nation. He he threatens he's going to bring danger to the nation. Uh, a Middle Eastern man, a Semitic man, uh, and it speaks a Semitic language. Um, in the days, and he's actually ultimately going to make a strike on the nation of the king. In the days of Clinton comes a man on the world stage, another paradigm, and he rises up and he's from the east. His name is, of course, Osama bin Laden, and he makes threats against the nation, comes in the, in the, la, in the, in the latter part of the reign of the, that king, and actually in the template, this is going to sound crazy, but it's, in the template, it actually gives, a, it gives the parameters of his name. The ancient, there's an ancient enemy, and the name, it's a, he give, it's a two-part name in the Bible, and the first part of the name is, is the letters are bet in Hebrew, and, and, and it's ben or bin, as in bin Laden, means son. There's an ancient one, he matches the exact one. In the, la, in the latter days of the king, the king has a chance, Ahab has a chance to kill this, the nemesis, get, get the danger out, but he passes on the chance, and later on it's going to bring calamity to the nation. Clinton had the chance to, I'm not talking about why or what, he had the chance to take out bin Laden. He doesn't. Later on, it brings calamity on the nation. This is what I, this is what was mind-blowing about the, uh, about the harbinger, the intricacy of how everything has repeated itself. Yes. It's so yes. intricate. The, yes. It's not just a general warning. It's in minute detail. That's it. And let's talk if about talk about that. Let if me you tell have eyes to see. Yes. To, now there's a chapter in the, in the paradigm called the day. Now listen to this. And there's much. Of course, we can only touch on things. I can only. That touch was on. my next question, by the way. Really? Yes. Okay. What is the uh, mystery of the day? Okay. This is one of the one of them. Here's the thing. In the paradigm, in the ancient template, here's the thing. The when the there's a scandal in the days of the king. There's a big scandal in his, in Ahab's thing. It's it's a scandal of Naboth and the, and the vineyard. And he is rebuked by Elijah, and he actually, he actually repents at one point. He confesses his sins, repents, and God says, okay, I'm not going to bring the calamity now, but it will be delayed because of that repentance. Okay, there's a major scandal. I won't go into it right now. There's a major scandal in the days of, the, of, of Clinton's thing. There's several, but the one is, of course, the Lewinsky scandal. It was the major thing. He was impeached for it. Okay, so uh, did he ever repent of it? Did he ever? And the answer is he did. At first he denied it, then he had to confess it, and then finally he made a real repentance. It was at a prayer gathering in the White House with ministers. And he said, this is my repentance I didn't do before. I've sinned. I ask forgiveness. He actually did. So, but here's the, here's the thing. Now, now, get this. In the paradigm, when, the, when Ahab does it, it is three years from the time he repents from that moment to the time a calamity comes on the nation, which is with bloodshed. Now, here's the thing. What, if we, here, the day that he did that, take three years, add three years, it comes to not just a year, it comes to an exact day. It comes to September 11, 2001. Wow. I can't wait to hear more, so hold the thought. Okay. You know, just as the Lord is revealing through Jonathan the fulfillment of prophecy concerning the destruction of Israel to warn America, Bible prophecy is also being fulfilled as God regathers the lost sheep of Israel back to their homeland. It's happening today before our very eyes. When you support Jewish Voice, 
you're making miracles possible for the scattered tribes of Israel, just like the ones that you're about to see. Take a look. Here at Jewish Voice, we are dedicated to proclaiming the good news that Jesus, Yeshua, is the Messiah to the Jew first and also to the nations. We share the gospel at festivals around the world, and we also provide life-saving medical help to Jewish people living in dire poverty. Modern DNA testing has confirmed that these people are descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. Many of these Jewish people we reach have maintained their Old Testament traditions and rituals for thousands of years. They need to hear the gospel and receive medical care. Time is literally running out for these sons and daughters of Abraham. Infants, toddlers, and the elderly are the most likely to die needlessly for lack of basic medical care. Medical care that most of us take for granted is desperately needed now. And the need is enormous. But our medical teams provide more than just physical care and comfort. They open the door for us to share God's love and the good news that Jesus is the Messiah. That's why your financial support is crucial. For your donation of $30, we'll sow The Paradigm by Jonathan Kahn into your life. The Paradigm contains Jonathan Kahn's most explosive prophecies yet. Learn what startling biblical mysteries are about to come true in your lifetime. Order The Paradigm now. And if you really want to bless Jewish tribes like these, please consider becoming a new monthly partner. With your new monthly partnership of $25 or more, we'll send you The Paradigm and we'll add a Jewish Voice exclusive to Anointed Jonathan Kahn DVD sets with four discs each. That's a total of eight DVDs by Jonathan Kahn exclusively for you, our Jewish Voice supporters. Each four DVD set contains unique prophecies relevant to your life. Don't wait. Call the number on your screen now. Receive all of these thank you gifts with your new monthly partnership of $25 or more. You can also donate $100 to receive all these gifts. Specify offer 1923 or please specify offer 9241 when giving a one-time gift of $30 to receive the paradigm or click with your gift of support by going to our website jvmi.tv or write to us at Jewish Voice Post Office Box 6, Phoenix, Arizona, 85001. I'm talking with Rabbi Jonathan Kahn about his incredible new book, and this is new. It's hot off the press. It's called The Paradigm, and this is an ancient blueprint. What does the paradigm reveal about God and each of us? Well, one thing is, you know, similar to when The Harbinger came out, People were scared, but other people were, you know what, this actually gives me comfort. Why? Because it's telling you that truly God is in control. God is on the throne. Yes, I mean, he is. How could you do all these things? We just talked about details. How could you do all that only if you're in control? So for those who are not in God, okay, you can fear, but then get in the Lord. But if you're in the Lord, he's telling you truly. You know that you say God has a plan for your life. Well, he really does. If he has a blueprint or a, a paradigm for What's happening in the world, he also has it for each of us. You know, when God says, I know the plans, the Hebrew word is machashaba, which, be, which means intricately woven plans. And it's true. So you, you, if you're in the Lord, just make sure you're in God's will. If you're in God's will, don't fear. Be comforted. Amen. God is on Amen. the throne. Jonathan, I know that we've only scratched the surface, and that's all we've done. We've scratched mm-hmm. the surface of the prophecies in the paradigm, and we're excited. You're coming back. Yes. Jonathan's agreed to come back <laughs> in a few weeks to share more mysteries with us. I don't want you to miss our next program about the paradigm with Jonathan Kahn. So you can check your local listings. And I don't want you to miss this opportunity to hear and respond to God's mercy. He's reaching out to you today. He wants you to respond today. There is still time but there may not be tomorrow. And that's Mm. why you've been watching this program today, because today is the day of your salvation. Today is the day for you to be restored to God. Today Mm. is a new day. It's the beginning of a turnaround so that you can fulfill your destiny in Him. I want you to get this book. I want you to read it. I want you to get it into your heart. And I want you to fulfill your call 
We're living in the last days. Mm. Listen, we're here for you. Mm. Jewish Voice is here to help you. I want you to know that God loves you, and so do we. Jonathan Kahn is going to pray for you now as we close. Jonathan? Lord, we ask your great blessing and anointing on everyone who's watching. Father, we ask that the the plans for their life be fulfilled, that nothing be hindering it, Father. Remove all things to bring it about. You You said, I know know the plans, and we ask this be manifest. Give victory, give release, and give the fulfillment of what you have purposed from the time you placed them in their mother's womb. In the name of Yeshua, Jesus, Roeha Tov, the Good Shepherd. Amen. Amen. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) You don't want to miss Jonathan. He's coming back. He has so much more to share. So uh, make sure you tune in when Jonathan returns. And by the way, if you have any questions or prayer needs, remember, we're here for you. You can log on to our website. It's jvmi.tv. And just know again, God loves you, and so do we. In fact, God has a special blessing for you this week as we mark the biblical feast of Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, take a look. This week we're observing Yom Kippur. This is the Day of Atonement. We can read about this in Leviticus chapter 23. This is the holiest day of the Jewish calendar, a time when Jews all over the world fast and pray. They go to synagogue and we're repenting of our sins. But this is also a feast that's connected with a blindness because the Jewish people no longer have a sacrifice for their sins. There is no temple. There's only the sacrifice of Messiah, but Messianic Jews. And you as believers in the Jewish Messiah can observe Yom Kippur. You can make this a intercessory time to pray for the salvation of your family members, to pray for the salvation of the Jewish people. This is the most important time of the year to pray for the peace of Jerusalem because ultimately that peace is only found in the Messiah because Yeshua is our high priest. He fulfilled this observance of Yom Kippur when the high priest once a year went into the holy place. You can go to our website, jvmi.tv, and you can take time to learn about feasts that are important to you. Moedim, appointed times of the Lord, that aren't just for the Jewish people, but for all followers of the Messiah. And when it's over, we're going to break the fast with things like lox and bagels. I love lox and bagels. The the lox is salty, makes you thirst for water, and I want to thirst for the living water. So that's Yom Kippur, and uh, I encourage you to learn more. Well, thanks for joining us today. We love the Jewish people, and we ask you to show your love for the Jewish people by becoming a new monthly prayer partner or getting behind the ministry with support today. I want to remind you as I close that Psalm 122.6 says also to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They will prosper that love thee. And so if you want to prosper, pray for the Jewish people. Until next time, I'm Jonathan Verna saying shalom and God bless you. Jonathan, that was fantastic.